Right. Um, we are here again uh, this afternoon uh, witnessing the continued harassment of our colleague, uh, Honorable Musukwa, uh, whose property this uh, morning and part of the afternoon was being uh, searched by a combined team of DEC, we suspect SEC police, as well as uh, officers from the office of the president. Uh, what is saddening is that the same unprofessional conduct that was exhibited in Chirabombwe has continued here. Uh, where there is a, a search being conducted, it is expected that the search warrant will be presented and after they have done their work, they leave a copy so that uh, the person whose property has been searched has a copy to show that such an exercise has been undertaken. But just from interacting with the officers that were here, their demeanor and attitude, even to a point of saying we're working under instruction, just goes to show how this whole process is a botched process. It's a fraudulent process meant to harass innocent citizens just because they chose to provide a service to a nation through politics. We all know Honorable Musukwa from the, his heydays as uh, one who was working for the mines and as a business person and what he has acquired. And even his uh, you know, offer of his uh, time and service to the nation has actually possibly slowed down his business activities. But to come and be harassed, especially on properties and things that he acquired way before even joining very sad. This being exhibited by the UPND in government of wanting to institutionalize and inculcate a culture of poverty and a poverty mentality where no one thinks they qualify through hard work to acquire property and indeed accumulate wealth is very sad. For us as patriotic front, we want to promote a culture of hard work and people aspiring to prosper in their private lives as you know corporate or indeed encourage an entrepreneurial uh, uh, you know uh, culture among our people so that people can you know be able to lift themselves out of poverty this is very sad so w what is it that they were searching for well this time around they're saying we're not uh, we're just going to inspect basically they were admiring what honorable msukwa is working on and uh, because it looks uh, excellent uh, to them, anything excellent cannot be owned by a black man. It has to be a foreigner, either Anglo-American or all these people. But for as long as it's a black man doing the kind of work that Robo Suka is doing, and actually he does it himself, working with the bricklayers from the street, empowering local people in the compounds and so on, but the ideas and creativity that he, he deploys are usually personal ideas. And for some of us who have interacted with him closely, that has been an inspiration. Some of the works that he has done and his creativity, not even international contractors can actually put up some of the works that he has put up through basically working with people in the compounds. Thank you. Thank you.